um, Yossi Halawaho. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, the Commission proposal includes a total prohibition of, on civilian ownership of uh, fully automatic or Category A firearms. In the existing directive, they are, as a rule, prohibited, but exceptions can be made to authorized gun collectors and museums. We are talking about private, legally held property with a great historical and monetary value. Such a retroactive ban must therefore be well grounded, I am sure we all agree. Even if not retroactive, a ban would kill the legal market and the weapons in question would lose their value. The Commission has said on many occasions that gun collectors are a source of illegal weapons. This, I think, is a rather offensive statement unless there are facts and figures to prove it. In my own country, Finland, there is a relatively large number of legal automatic weapons in private collections. They are usually World War II machine guns and submachine guns. According to our national authorities, these legally held weapons have never been used in crime. So my question to all and any of you, are legally owned automatic weapons, empirically speaking, a real problem in Europe? Or is the Commission fixing something that simply isn't broken? Thank you. So, um, you see, Alohaho. Thank you, Chair. Uh, one of the most controversial details of this directive is the proposal to ban a certain type of semi-automatic rifles. The Commission itself admits that the resemblance criteria is not satisfactory, and there have been suggestions that instead we could ban or restrict certain external features, such as pistol grips, muzzle brakes, ventilated handguards, collapsible stocks, and so on. These weapons are widely used in sport shooting, especially in practical shooting and similar disciplines. What many people mistakenly think of as military features are in fact features that improve the ergonomics and accuracy of a firearm. Accuracy and ergonomics are very important to sport shooters, whereas they are much less relevant for a criminal or a terrorist. Uh, one speaker mentioned the possibility to limit the magazine capacity to 10 rounds of ammunition. I wonder what could be achieved by this. There is an endless amount of high-capacity, unregistered and untraceable magazines in private hands already. If we give any indication that they will be banned, people will go to a gun store and buy more. This is what usually happens when you try to ban something that is free now. I would be interested in hearing your views on these proposals. Is a rifle, in your opinion, more dangerous or more likely to be used in crime if it has so-called military features, such as pistol grips? Another question, what is the share of V7 rifles out of all gun crime? I think this is a very essential question here. Thank you.